The objective within this lesson is to divide decimal dividends by multiples of 10, reasoning about the placement of the decimal point, and making connections to a written method. Let's solve this problem using place value disks. We have 5 tens and 4 ones. When we divide by 10, each of our 10's disks becomes a 1's disk. 10 divided by 10 is 1. And each of our 1's disks becomes a 10th. So we have five ones and four tenths. Read the equation with me. 54 divided by 10 equals five and four tenths. For our next problem, we're going to go ahead and work with five and four tenths and divide it by 10. So you'll notice this was 54 divided by 10. This is now five and four tenths divided by 10 we can make place value disks again. Two, three, four, and five, and then tenths. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, and four tenths. Indicate that we're dividing by 10. When we divide one by 10, we get a tenth. So we get, when we divide five ones by 10, we'll get five tenths. So we'll make five of those place value disks. When you divide a tenth by 10, you get a hundredth. So our answer is 0 0.54 or 54 hundredths. Your turn. Use place value disks to go ahead and divide 54 hundredths by 10. There's our five tenths, and here's our four hundredths. When you divide by ten, what did you do? Each of those tenths becomes a hundredth. And there's five of them. And each of those hundredths, when you divide by 10, becomes a thousandth. So we get 0 0.054, or 54 thousandths. Fifty-four divided by 90. Oh, I do recognize that this ends with a zero, so we are dividing by 10. But then we're also dividing by 9. So we can rewrite it as 54 divided by 10 divided by 9. 54 divided by 10 is equal to 5.4. And then we're dividing 5 and 4 tenths by 9. And when we divide 5 and 4 tenths by 9, we get 6 tenths. Here's another problem, 5.4 divided by 90. That's still the same as 5.4 divided by 10 divided by 9. 5.4 divided by 10 is 54 hundredths divided by 9. In this case, that equals 6 hundredths.
Here we have 54 divided by 900. Start with 54, divide it by 100, and divide it by 9. The same thing as saying 54 hundredths divided by 9, which is equal to 6 hundredths, because I know that 54 divided by 9 is 6, and this is 54 hundredths divided by 9, so 54 hundredths divided by 9 is 6 hundredths, and this is how we write 6 hundredths. So our answer is 6 hundredths. 54 divided by 900 is equal to 6 hundredths. Here we have 5 and 4 tenths divided by 900. That's the same as 5 and 4 tenths divided by 100 divided by 9. As we simplify that, 5 and 4 tenths divided by 100 get 0 0.054 divided by 9, which is equal to 6 thousandths. Okay, it's your turn. Let's do work on 48 divided by 600. Pause the video while you do your work. That's 48 divided by 100 divided by 6, which equals 48 hundredths divided by 6, which equals, what did you write? Did you write 8 hundredths? Check your work against the screen. One more for you to try. 4 and 2 tenths divided by 70. How can we rewrite that? 4.2 divided by 10 divided by 7 equals 42 hundredths divided by 7, which equals 6 hundredths. So you break apart the problem into an easier problem.